Okay, so here's a quick story about how I got a Trek Marlin 7. If you guys remember back in the beginning of my YouTube channel, I used to ride a Walmart bike, and I used to ride around Fantasy Island trails all the time. Well, my brother-in-law and our friend TJ, they ended up purchasing some mountain bikes. This was the mountain bike that my brother-in-law purchased, and this is the one he rode for a couple of years. They stopped riding for some reason, and I really don't know the exact reason why. It had something to do with my brother-in-law thinking there was something wrong with the back hub on this bike. But I was riding my 29-inch Walmart bike, and my brother-in-law got an itch to purchase another bike. He bought the Trek Fuel EX5. Well, now he wanted to go ride, and I also wanted to ride, but I wasn't going to be able to keep up with him on a 29-inch mountain bike from Walmart, so he offered me this bike. I purchased this bike for a couple of hundred bucks, and it is a 2000, I think it's the 18, maybe 17 model of the Trek Marlin 7. I took really good care of the bike. I just had to do some minimal maintenance, put a chain on it, and it was good to go. Chris, myself, and TJ, we all decided to go ahead and go riding Fantasy Island Trails and a couple other trails in Tucson, but we wanted to go and do something more. Our friend TJ has already been up to Bug Springs, and he's already been up to a whole bunch of other trails that require dual suspension. Well, my brother-in-law has a dual suspension, TJ has a dual suspension, but I have a hardtail. So, what is one to do? Well, I started looking around and started shopping on the internet, and going to all my local bike shops, and I came across a pretty nice deal. I went to a local bike shop and I purchased the Fuel EX8. Now I know what you might be thinking. Didn't I mention that my brother-in-law just purchased a Fuel EX5? Yeah, he did. But this had nothing to do with my brother-in-law. Yes, I bought a Trek from my brother-in-law. Yes, he has a Fuel EX5. I actually wanted to get a Santa Cruz Hightower, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, Santa Cruz was not shipping anything out. So I had to keep shopping. Well, I went from bike shop to bike shop, talked to the guys about what I was looking to do, and they said they had this bike. Well, this bike is about $3,500, which is $500 more than what I wanted to spend. But because this bike was actually a demo, they were selling it for $1,000 off. I picked up this bike for $2,500. He put a brand new set of tires on there for me, and I honestly couldn't pass up the deal. So my question is, is would you guys want to see videos of my brother-in-law, my friend TJ, and myself right around Arizona trails. Probably not gonna go anywhere far. Maybe eventually we'll make it out to like Casa Grande and Phoenix, but for the most part, we're just barely getting into mountain biking. Do you guys wanna see it or not? Let me know in the comments below. All right guys, well that's all I wanted to talk about. Rob Realistics out, peace.